The following program is classified M. The Nine Network recommends viewing by mature audiences. It contains sex scenes and some violence. <laughs> Welcome to Sneak Peek 2009. Where we give you a preview of the exciting new shows about to start right here on Channel 9 very soon. And speaking of exciting, last year's massive Aussie hit, Underbelly, returns in an all-new series. And this time, they've gone back. Back to the 1970s and to a meeting that transformed crime in Australia. I plan to bring in 50, 100 kilos a year. <laughs> That'll make you Mr Big, mate. The biggest Mr. Big. Now, this is the story of an unlikely pair, Bob Trimboli and Kiwi Terry Clark. Don't ever stiff me, Terry. I'll bury you under an orange tree. And how they changed the face of organised crime. The police Commissioner reckons there's no such thing as organised crime in New South Wales, really. He'd know, wouldn't he, hey? Evening, Police Commissioner. <laughs> how come certain families around here are uh, building jazzy new homes for cash. Can you answer that, Bob Trimboli? There's an Italian going around town looking for a hitman. Who's the target? He doesn't know. That's what I call useless information. They seemed unstoppable. I run the joint. Customs, drug squad, coroner's office. We deal with them all. Now, bringing this powerful story to life are some famous Aussie faces playing some of our most notorious criminals. And you can check out extended cast interviews and get more details on this exciting new series at our website, 9msn.com.au forward slash Underbelly. Now, Underbelly 2, A Tale of Two Cities, is coming very soon. Now, let's consider another important moment in Aussie history. When over 200 years ago, England sent us their worst well, in 2009, we're getting them right back. Ladder to Lady is a show about shipping off mischievous, out of control women to one of England's finest finishing schools to turn them into refined ladies. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Will you please shut up? Oh, 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 oh. I have never <laughs> seen such a appalling behaviour in my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> never been to a Right! Yeah. Okay, Emily. Yes. Well, will you come and stand here? Oh, you Bianca, will you shut up? Each week, one girl is asked to until we have one transformed lady, hopefully. We have our work cut out and a big challenge ahead of us. I think they're going to try and push us as far yes. as they can. You know you want some. You know you don't. We want pounds on your face. You can imagine how our Aussie ladettes can, well, push the limits. You're a little piece of scum. 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 I'm on the very strict rules to be good and to last. Otherwise, I'm not going to make it. I'm just going to be like... Whoosh. Aussie ladder to lady. All the trouble begins in February. Do not give up, please. No, I really... I, what, no. I, what I've learned is enough for me right now. It's not enough. I have faith in you, and I mean that. I believe in you. So do not give up on yourself now. You've worked so hard. Don't. I really believe in you. Suit up. Come on. Come on. It's quite an emotional roller coaster, much like our next show, which I know is very close to you, Nat. Yes, Tim. Australians have taken Farmer Wants a Wife to their hearts. Now, for the past two years, we've been offering Aussie farmers a little bit of a lifeline, helping them to find a wife. Yeah, you do get lonely. You got no one there to talk to. I'm looking for the whole kitten caboodle. My friend. My companion, my lover. Well, there's been laughter and tears, and we've even had our first wedding when Farmer Chris discovered true love with Kimberley. Well, now we have a whole new group of farmers looking for love. I feel like a little schoolboy falling in love for the first time. We get to sit on your knee. <laughs> I don't want to watch. Girls like that just don't talk to me. Have a strawberry. And this new series promises even more emotion. There is one very big difference, because one of our farmers is looking or a husband. Oh, that guy just absolutely rocked me. I can't, I've got to go and take five minutes out. This series is even tougher, and hearts are sure to be broken, and tears will most definitely fall. I'm sick of crying over boys. 
The new season of Farmer Wants a Wife begins in February, but if you can't wait that long, you can meet the farmers right now and get all the latest news on our website, farmerwantsawife.com.au. Bit of inside goss just between you and I. Mm -hmm. Farmer Rob, do you remember him, Series 2? Yeah. Well, he's just announced his engagement... No. ...to the lovely Joe. Oh, I know you love a wedding. He might anymore. cry. Are you going to cry? No, no. I'm not, I'm not there crying. There could be a wedding in the not-too-distant future. Can we get a tissue down here, please? You'd be like this. Now, um, this next show will also bring a tear to your eye, but for completely uh, different reasons. Poor thing. You're going to want a piece of this. They are the finest competitors from around Australia. It's time for the guns from Granada! Outstanding athletes, all of them. To do battle against the most difficult sports course, quite frankly, I have ever seen. Have you done any training for today? Ah, it is. You won't believe the passion and dedication of these finely tuned athletes. You know it! the tenacity, the do or die attitude as our ordinary Aussies do battle to find our first ever Australian wipeout champion. I win. Whatever you do, don't miss our Aussie heroes in action on Wipeout Australia when it starts in February. This isn't how we're supposed to turn out. Now also new in 2009, a touching new series where we'll meet people desperate to rekindle a long lost relationship. But there's one compelling reason. That person they find could save their life. Thinking that I'm not going to see my kids grow up. Oh, it's too... For these inspirational people, finding their missing pieces is only half the story. Unforgettable <laughs> and uplifting. Peter Overton hosts Missing Pieces, coming soon. Domestic Blitz was our feel-good hit of 2008, where deserving Aussies get the full treatment when our makeover team transform their houses and their lives. Now, we can't promise miracles, but we can usually manage a little bit of magic. So, come on, team, let's sprinkle a little stardust. Good idea. Now, we've got loads of new episodes where, once again, you'll get to share the surprise and absolute joy as our local heroes experience these fantastic moments. There's a big fuss happening at the moment. <laughs> you've got a few cameras, you've got the whole of Australia watching. There's a little bit of a fuss happening. We don't have to deal with it, my friend. An all-new series of Domestic Blitz returns in February. Gorgeous Aussie Simon Baker has made it big in Hollywood with his charming performance as the detective who sees things the others don't. Who are you? My name's Patrick Jane. I'm the man that will find out who it was that killed your father and have him or her or them put in a prison cell if you'll talk to me. He's a former psychic, which he admits was a con, who now uses his unique skills of observation to solve crimes for the government. Now I have access to all your innermost thoughts. I am right. I'm serious. Okay. So what am I right now? You're thinking I am so glad Jane is joking around that he can't actually read my mind. No. Well, actually, yes, but, but not for the reason you think. What reason do I think? Never you mind. You're blushing. With its new season kicking serious goals in the US, The Mentalist will be back in an all-new series very soon. Now, also this year, our Sunday night flagship, 60 Minutes, will be celebrating its 30th birthday. I thought we had a deal. <laughs> I wouldn't make you cry if you didn't make me cry. <laughs> CSI will also be back, and there's a big change ahead, Nap. Lawrence Fishburne will be joining the cast, replacing Gil Grisham. The urge to kill is in all of us. And also from the makers of CSI, the stunning new series, 11th Hour. He's the face of America's biggest new drama. Dr. Hood is a high-priority asset. He handles the FBI's most sensitive cases. It could save a lot of lives. Or take them. A genius with an incredible gift. He's got everything on his side. I need you to help me save a life. Except time. Would you say life is precious? Ah! From the producers of CSI. Pleasure to meet you. So what do you do? Eleventh hour. Oh, there is another show that's returning. Fabulous program. I believe it's quite close to your heart, Tim. Ladies and gentlemen, Celebrity Singing Bee is back. We had a heap of fun last year and we've got a whole new list of celebrities ready to test their lyrical memories. Also, we'll have some special guest performances, the Honey Bees, the fabulous live band and, of course, Nat. Mwah. I think he's a little bit excited. <laughs> well, why wouldn't you be? We've got all these great shows and a whole lot more. It is going to be fantastic on 9 in 09. It certainly is. Now, are you still running with the theme nights on the singing bee? Yeah, yeah, no. 80s. The 80s, of course, 90s, number one. Oh, you should come on the show. I should.
Now, we bought you those quilts. Yep. We bought you those curtains. Uh-huh. And we bought you this program. Oh, good. Does my bum look big in this? Well, let's just say it's a big program. The following program is classified M. The Nine Network recommends viewing by mature audiences. It contains strong violence, strong sex scenes, nudity and some coarse language. 